What's going on guys? This is Burz. I want to talk to you today about the Hill People Gear Let's Pack. This is a pack I've been using for about a year now. Really enjoy it. It's my favorite pack. It's a little pricey. Made in the USA, but it's definitely one you need to take a look at. Yeah, I've been reviewing packs for years now. I've come across many different ones. High level, low level, from Jansport all the way up to Gregory. Uh, Tactical Taylor on the tactical side of things. And this Hill People Gear really kind of uh, bridges the gap to a degree from tactical to uh, outdoors. You can use it for anything really. It's also really um, functional. You're gonna have a little bit of weight as it comes in about five pounds and you're gonna have a lot of different areas to put things on. As an example I have some first spear general purpose pouches on the top of this thing on the sides as you can see here. Just adding some more you know cubic inches to put stuff in it. So let's take a closer look at this. Right, so let's talk about the specifics here. You're looking at five to five and a half pounds, depending on how you're gonna use it, if you're gonna use the aluminum stays or not. It comes in at a length of 7.5 inches, a width of 12, and a height of 24. It does have those 70-75 aluminum stays in the back, and you can actually bend them to your back, and that's what they recommend. And they have a video on that over at Hill People Gears uh, YouTube channel you can take out if you were to get one. You know, bending those aluminum stays really is what makes this pack uh, work well for you. It has a really different kind of suspension on it, which we'll talk about. But let's just go from the front to the back. You have 1,500D and some Hypalon used throughout this pack. So it's really ingenious the way they found the, you know, where the stress points, where aren't the stress points, where can you cut weight, and where do you need good, um, you know, heavier material. So when you're looking at this on the front, let's talk about how I have it set up. This is usually how I have it set up, even though I'm on a day trip today, wouldn't normally have all this stuff, but I do just to show you how much stuff you can put on here. I got a Wetterlings large hunting ax right here. I just use that right on the front through the, uh, the webbing here. The other thing this has is the ability to add on to it, and that's what I said earlier, but let's talk about that in detail. So right here, I just have a military uh, roll uh, waterproof sack, and you can get these anywhere. You can use anything really, but I'm using this one because it's kind of green, it kind of blends in, and these things are the bomb. So, you know, I'm taking this, I'm putting it inside of these, um, this webbing here, and I'm tightening it down. So normally, this is how you're gonna get it. You're not gonna get it with any sort of uh, additional thing on the front. You have to purchase that from them. They have different packs you can use. I think, um, you know, they have two different types that you can put on the front and kind of uh, lock into it. But honestly, I found a dry bag on the front here, just zip down, works perfectly fine. The buckles and everything that's used are top notch. Uh, you know, they're not very easy to engage. And what I mean by that is, it isn't like you can accidentally engage these buckles. You have to use a little bit of force to get them out, which means they're not gonna come off going through the woods, as you saw coming into here. Um, you know, if I'm gonna put that on film, but you know, coming into here, you're going through stuff, you're bumping into stuff. Um, you know, stuff can pop off and, um, <laughs> and cause you to uh, you know, lose some gear. Haven't had that problem whatsoever. So it's a nice flat front. You can see the differences as far as the color contrast go. And on each side, you're going to have um, the ability to put some, some hydration or whatever you want. Here I have two different uh, water bottles. And on this side, I have, I have my Bob Destrudy's uh, saw, and I have a, a metal container right here. This is a black thorn water bottle. I'll be reviewing that soon. As you move up to the top, what I did was I kind of adapted two first spear uh, general purpose pouches. I just wrote, put this right through the molly, through the webbing, just to add a little bit more. I have my cook kit over here, and I have some uh, accessories over here. You know, if you want to add on to it another way, on the top here, there is a ton of room to put what I do is a lot of winter layers and, you know, rain gear. I'll put on the top here and I'll cinch it down. No problems there whatsoever. You got this little bungee at the bottom, which actually secures my ax in place, but you can put, um, you know, walking uh, sticks, whatever they're called, poles, trekking poles, uh, or the likes. You got some stuff on the bottom here where you can put some gear. I have a Marpat tarp and just a regular uh, brown, um, just general purpose tarp as well. I usually put the pack, put my packs on top of tarps. Um, so they don't get roughed up and in wet weather you don't want to have that seep it in your bag So let's go into the pack now. The other thing I like is the zippers. The zippers are not They're not small. So as you see on other packs I reviewed I've complained about the size of zippers and the reason that is is because they get caught up and You can see here. This is not gonna get caught up. The design is perfect on the top You got some molly so if you want to put something there you can you have a part on the top here, which is a thin pouch and I have like 
um, my fire kit and my medical kit in here. On the inside here, you're just gonna have a straight drop. So it's just gonna be like any other pack that's just a drop you know, from the top down. Um, what do I have in here? I have a two person tent from Marmot, the Force 2P. I got a poop kit, I got food, accessories, two fuel cans, I have a Thermarest uh, roll up inflatable pad, MSR uh, cup, mug, and uh, a 20 degree sleeping bag on the bottom. I think I have something else in here as well. But you know, you can really pack a ton in here and then you can just cinch it down <clears throat> real good. On the back here, what you have is this nice, I'm gonna say it's a polymer, but it's definitely a plastic frame sheet, which really keeps this stuff nice and uh, you know flat against your back as far as not having stuff uh, get out of line. It really keeps stuff you know in line, and it keeps for a real nice ride on your back, but it gives you that great support. Let's move to the back. First thing you'll notice is it has a huge, nice, heavyweight, grab handle love it when you're moving to the back you're gonna see a little bit different of a shoulder design as you can see these are not attached to the pack and I'll tell you what when I first got it I was a little bit worried <laughs> I said to myself what the hell is this um, but you know you set it up for yourself and they're gonna include stuff and you can go into their YouTube page to uh, set the pack up for yourself but this really acts as an independent suspension to a degree once you get this on here and you put it on and cinch it down and you get it all set up for you, I'll tell you what, it's really made me a believer in the, the design they have, which might look a little unorthodox, but man, this is the best riding pack I've ever um, used out in the wilderness um, or whatever environment you're using it for. You know, 20 to 60 pounds easy. You have the frame load uh, webbing right here so you can adjust that out. Uh, this is adjustable for your, the size of your uh, torso. You have on both sides this bungee, which I showed you earlier. So this bungee I have over here with a uh, HydroPack, one of their uh, flexible flasks, which is made of uh, like a rubbery uh, bladder material. It works perfect for that. So I can have, you know, about, I think 12 ounces of drink right there, ready to go. And on this one, I just have a knife of some sort, just bungeed in there for the ride. That works really well. I do like that. Super strong sternum strap. You know, I love sternum straps. This one's uh, no joke, definitely works well. Let's move down to the hip belt. Number one, it has the polymer Cobra buckle on it, which is awesome. It, it you know loosens, uh, loosens, it keeps the weight down, which is great. It engages super easy, and um, you know I really like that. You don't see a lot of companies using the plastic Cobra buckle, but this thing is really cool. This is the first time I got to use one. Really enjoy it. You're gonna buy this based off of your waist, so you're not just going to buy a one size fits all, you're going to have to figure out which one fits uh, well for you, you know, depending on what waist you have. Good webbing all around. You can see you have some adjustment here. It keeps the pack uh, to you. So you can adjust this and put it on your belt here to uh, adjust that out. You have all kinds of different adjustments down here. And the cool thing is there's some Hypalon, which is a, an attach attachment point for uh, where your shoulder straps go down here. Um, so they're using different materials in different places, which is cool. There's a nice, um, I think it's either open or closed cell foam behind here. So it really, when it's against your, the swell of your back, really feels good. Um, you can replace that with any kind of foam that you want, memory foam, whatever, if you don't feel as though that's enough. You can see there's some ridges here. The only thing this pack doesn't have, but I'm not sure that it really, really needs, is it doesn't have like that air flow. So you see on other packs they have like different blocks to get some airflow in here. But the way this sits, it doesn't sit directly against your back um, based on the design. Um, so I don't know if it's really needed. I don't notice myself sweating a ton with this stuff on. So I'm not sure that you necessarily need that. But I haven't noticed a problem uh, with that. You can see Hypalon is used down the entire side here which is where all the connection points of webbing are. Hypalon is flame proof, as far as burn proof, melt proof, um, and it's super strong and it's lightweight. So I really like their use of that throughout this pack. Um, stitching, all that stuff goes without saying. Top notch, you can't get any better in my opinion. You can also put some hydration in here. Here's a hydration port. But back where this frame sheet goes is where you can take a hydration bladder, put it back here, route it through here, and have your hydration needs met. Yeah, as you can see, this thing goes on relatively easy. I got about 45 pounds in here. 
Just put it on. Get your adjustments down. And you're good to go. Super easy to get on and off. Just feels like a dream. You know, the fact that this pack moves a little bit is a good thing. And you really can't realize it until you have it and you're going up things, down things, around things. Um, with other packs, they're just stationary, you know. It's good to have a pack that is a little bit flexible uh, with going where you need to go. If you don't like that, you can pull these load straps down and put it right against your back if you're down with that way. Um, you can really do with it whatever you want. So if you're looking for a great pack to use, it definitely is going to be a buy once, cry once, made in the USA pack. The Hill People Gear Ut Pack is definitely one to look at. If you guys have any questions or anything, go ahead and let me know. If you guys have one or another Hill People Gear piece of uh, gear, go ahead and put it in the comments down below or better yet, make a video about it. And until next time, later. Wow.